What side of cock I full down the line? I'm in a, I'm in a depot. <laughs> look. In case y'all didn't. All right. So look, today this is a Bootsy base. It's made in Korea. Korea. Um, it's a uh, it's a star base. In case y'all, I never seen one up close. Uh, it's got a couple marks on it. Oh, I guess it's just bad stuff. Um, today we're gonna change the preamp. I think the pickups in it are pretty decent. I was gonna gut the the pickups out, but they seem to be they seem to sound pretty pretty decent. Um, from what I can see, you know the the pots are kind of cheap. You know they they're a pots. Um, and this is the issue right here. The issue is I have no idea what this preamp is. Um, and the, uh, we're going to take it out. If I put a tone monster in here, Boosie will never be the same. All right. So right now we got this one with the bass and then the treble and then the volume. And that's all it is. It's just a blank, um, preamp. That's just blank. All right. So. And this is, I guess this is the bridge. Um, but it's, a, you know, we're going to put, I, I like to put an all deer in, and that's what I think I'm going to do. The tone must be a little bit too aggressive for Boosie. Boosie more, is more of a, um, a, a finger. Oh, Lord, what is, what's going on right here? Y'all see that? It's actually moving. Um, Boosie is, I need to do that over. You see all that moving? See that right there? I don't know what's going on right there, but it's supposed to be grounding. So I'm going to take all the groundings out, everything that you see, and rewire it correctly. Like I'm going to ground it, each, each individual, neatly. Right now, it, it, everything, you know, it's working, but neatly wise, um, I would love to change the pots. Uh, to probably 500. I'm going to check, man, because right now I'm not happy with Charlie, what I'm hearing. All right, so what, I, what, I, what I'm going to do first is I got to order a preamp for this, and I think I'm going to go all deer. So I'm going to call all deer and see if, not call them, but see if they can make me a, a preamp triple stack. That would be kind of cool. Uh, no blend, just just volume treble and bass or volume mid man you know in fact i can put another um well, i don't know if you want me to cut the bass but i would love to put a mid cut in here all this body and all this mid is getting away um this bass is when i tell you this bass is heavy look how thick it is um basically this bass is right around an inch Wait, y'all saw it before I saw it. An inch and a quarter deep. This thing is an inch and a quarter deep. And by it being an inch and a quarter deep all the way around, that's a lot of wood. And it's heavy, all right? It's extremely heavy. So, I want to do some things to it because I want to. I wish I could change the pit guard. Let's look at the pit guard. The only reason I can't change the pit guard is because the pit guard is mounted into, I mean, the bridge is mounted into the pit guard. Now, Rockfields, I never heard of them, so I'm going to look them up. Uh, I, I've never heard of Rockfield. Another thing that I see is, you know, but I guess it's cool. Um... I would take the, the covering off this, the, the clear coating off this because I feel it's choking, but I don't know how deep the inlays are and I don't want to take the clear coat off and the inlays be kind of crazy. But anyway, you can see that it's a Bootsy got his name on the top. I don't even think it's a brass bridge. I think that's aluminum or, or steel. I'll, I'll go with steel. Um, and the tuners are got off and it's by Trabin. A lot of you guys know Trayvon, um back in the day. Oh, it's missing a knob. I think it's in the bag. But this bass with this pit guard is extremely heavy. 
this thing is this thing is beasting. I wish I could take this bridge off, but I, like I said, I can't because it's mounted into the pig guard. Um, the pig guards, I'm gonna do my research on because I would go with either EMG, but the look, if you want the look, you got the big pole pieces. If you want the look, you got the big pole pieces. All right, but EMG on this base, I think would be really, really cool. And I think these are rear pickup sizes. Uh oh. Four inch. Yeah, they're about four inches. Four inches exact. So I may get some made for this, which would be kind of cool. Or I just, you know, get put barks in there. Barks would be kind of cool in this base too, because it's so heavy. And, um,. You need for Boosie kind of thing. He doesn't do a lot of plucking. He's a fingering guy and he uses electronics and in, in boxes and stuff like that. So I basically got a lot of work. I, I, I need to sit with her for for a couple of days. Once once I sit with her, whoo, did you cuss? One man on open ground, you sure got a lot of killing in mind. Okay. Stop that cussing, sir. Um, so I'm going to lay with a couple days and see what I can come up with. Some a lot of things I like to change on this base. I think the pickup sounded cool when I plugged it in, but that's what about it. It sounded cool. I need them bad boys to knock the walls down. It's it's a hundred of them. It's one, two, three, four, five pickups, which is about a hundred. <laughs> Five times five is five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five. No, it's joking. Um, but it's a it's a lot of pickups in it. And um my customer wears this kind of high. Um so I'm gonna leave the, the setting where it is. But I'm gonna play with these pickups for a couple of days and I'm gonna see if I want to put something else in it. Because I'm definitely feeling something else. Unless these, unless the preamp that I put in here excites me, if it excites me, I'll go for it. If it doesn't excite me, uh, no, we're not gonna go for it. All right, once again, guys, shout out to Kaka, John Lee Line, and Homo Depot. Peace.